What's up everyone and welcome back to AK Academy. I'm Muzaffar with you. Today we will talk about collections in Reactive UI and Xamarin Forms. Let's get started. Here I will quickly define the collections in Reactive UI, talk about the types and we can move to Visual Studio. First, Reactive UI provides us with a concept called dynamic data. What is dynamic data? It's a set of collection that's thread safe and it enables you to track every change that's happening inside your list. What does that mean? When you are dealing with observable collection in MVVM, so you can track all the changes on the UI when you add something, remove or update. But sometimes that's not enough and there is a problem. When you bind a list view to, a, to an observable collection in your MVVM, it's not thread safe because and the list view is running on the UI thread, so you can't manipulate it from multiple threads. But with dynamic data, you can do this because it's thread safe. And another thing, it enables you to track every change. This means like you can know it notifies you when anything added, removed, updated, and you can even save these changes <coughs> to take any decision or take any reaction. Uh, to that it changes later on. We have two types of dynamic data collections. The first one called source list and the second one called source cache. The difference is source list is a normal collection while source, ca uh, source cache is a key-based collection. It's like a dictionary. Now I will move to Visual Studio and I will apply something that gonna make the idea more clear for you. So here, to save some time, I have created this basic page. It's a simple reactive content page that has a list view. I've copied this list view from the contacts page we have created before. That has a list of contacts. Here is the list view. And I have created a basic view model called collection view model I have initialized it with everything related to navigation I've implemented the iroutable view model only now before in the contacts view model we have binded the contacts page here the item source of the list view to the contacts property in the contacts view model which is basically an observable collection of type contacts the idea here is <coughs> when you do anything, you cannot track the changes here, but simply it just notifies the UI about every change that's happening inside. So when you add something, it's simply being added to the list view in the UI. That's it. While when, with dynamic data, you can track the changes from the logic of your code to <coughs> take reactions to that changes if you are interested. In addition to this, the other amazing feature is it's thread safe. So let's start first by creating a source list of type contacts. We can say private source list type contact. Okay. Call it contacts equals new. Okay. Now here I have to manipulate the contacts with some basic data. If you remember before, we have created a service called iContact service and <coughs> have implemented uh, iContact service in a class called static contact service that simply returns a static list for me. In the app bootstrapper, just a quick reminder. I have registered uh, the service before, so I can simply call it from the constructor of my view model. So here, I will say my contacts equals to null, and here private read only I contact service. Okay, here I'll say contact service either equals to contacts 
service or bring the value from the locator current get service okay now everything is initialized and ready now let's see what contacts has here for us basically it has add add range also we have count which is basic property but we have count it changed it's an observable you can subscribe to it passes you an integer which is the new number of the items inside this list we have very amazing other uh, methods like here you have move to move the <laughs> items inside have remove remove at remove many remove range also we have some implemented feature called or implemented method called replace you can simply update your items using this replace function and many more features it's a very powerful way to deal with data that is based on collections so for now I will just add all the contacts I have using add range I will bring the contacts from contact service dot get all contacts okay now I have all the contacts inside the list what I want to do for now to bind the item source <coughs> of the list of view property in the UI into a property here I will create a read-only property observable collection I will call it read-only observable collection instead of observable type contact contact list and I will create read only observable collection this one I will call it contacts contacts is a read only property that the value of it is equals to this contacts now this one is read only I will bind the list view to this property while this property will be populated from the source list that I have here so why is the thread safe? source list now inside my view models here in the contractors and other methods you can write anything to this contacts which is not related to the UI at the end we will use a function provided to us within this to convert it to a read only observable collection which the UI depends on so the UI only depends on this property nothing related to this so you can simply add I and mean, emulate data from multiple threads in a safe way and you don't have to manage all of that now to start to track all the changes you can use a function called connect as you can see it returns observable of I change set I change set contains all the changes <clears throat> that happens inside this if you are interested in that changes you can simply subscribe to this observable using the subscribe function and do whatever you want like pass an action here we will talk about this later on but for now I will use a function called bind out contacts list Okay, what I've done now is I have started tracking the changes. Then the bind function, as you can read here, binds a clone to a read only observable collection. It takes the current state of the source list with all the data and <coughs> put them inside or create a new instance of read only observable collection. But it is read only observable collection. If you want to manipulate anything you can use contacts when any change happens it simply take this to an read only observable collection which in turn the UI depends on so for now I will simply just run the code to 
see what happening I will go to the app bootstrapper set the start page to new collection new model and here I will register the view register new instance of collection page to the view model collection view model I will start Okay, so as you can see here, I have a list with all the contacts I have that changes on the UI. The UI is based on <coughs> the contacts property. Again, this one, which in turn get its value from the source list using the bind function. So now, let's see here what we can do with contacts. We can say replace at, for example, index number two with a new item, email equals replace at test.com. It's a very creative name, place contact one equals two, one, two, three. So this is very powerful function replace. You can simply <coughs> update any items inside your list quicker than before. This is one of the functions you can do. Another thing is contacts dot. You can I will like I want to move the first item to force put this on the UI yeah something like this let's start the project and see okay here the second item has been replaced with a new one and here Ahmed Muzaffar which, which was the first item in the list app moved it very easily from the first position to the fourth one just using the move from 0 to 3 and there are many many other things you can do with source list but first <coughs> here I have introduced the new function that directly to deal with data inside the collection that's provided to you in addition to that it's a thread safe and you don't have to deal with anything that's related to the UI so again, it's a clean code. Maybe you write some <laughs> another more lines, but so when it comes to big projects, Reactive UI makes things more easy for you, more readable and <coughs> professional code. That was everything. We will <coughs> uh, talk later on about tracking the changes, but for now, that was the basics about dynamic data and collections in Reactive UI. Hope you liked this session. If you have any questions, as always, put them inside the comment section below. You can find the, <coughs> the GitHub repository link in addition to a link that uh, has more details about dynamic data and collections inside the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you so much and see you.